Hello, darling. Hi, Trini. How are you? Fabulous. How are you? So well. You look well. This is something I used to wear, and Cosmic Confessions Day, Jemima, is about what we used to wear, how we used to wear it, and how we might wear it today. Oh, I'm excited about this rail. So, I'm going to start with, I mean, look at this, but I'm never going to wear this dress again from Chloe because I'm very, <laughs> and also as much as I wanted Molly to do it up, you could see that it's just not going to happen brought me so much joy. But the coat, I was thinking, even though I do want to save this coat for Lila, I don't really, I'm not long, <laughs> coats remember, or white coats, <laughs> apart from Zara ones, and this is my expensive white coat. And like this, I just feel it's little girly. The waistband and the length of the sleeve and everything together is little girly. So is there any way that I could change this coat up so I don't feel little girly in it. Let's see. All right. So another thing I never did when I was younger is a red lip. I was too scared of doing red lip. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of Rossi. It just brings it to life. And then the last little bit on my cheek, like that. Oh wow, gorgeous. So, I mean, what works on so many levels and all of this is that these are other things I haven't worn that much. So I've, I've worn the Zimmerman trousers a bit, but more in summer than in winter. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got spanks underneath them because they need spanks to cover the shirt. And the shirt is the one that I bought in Tokyo 7 in New York. Very long sleeves, and that's a key here too. For me, bracelet sleeve, I've grown out of. When I was much younger, I could as a tall woman wear a bracelet sleeve, but now I just feel dangly arms, things look too small. And when things are a tiny bit small, because we know this cannot do up, Jemima, <laughs> having a long sleeve impression makes you think it's less too small. Totally, do yeah. See, do you see what I, I mean? See. I love And I wouldn't have done the red lip. You wouldn't have. No, before I would have done okay. like, sort of, I don't know, I think I would have done like the Spice Mac eyeliner with some sort of nudie thing over it and a lot of panzer. Yeah, Very. Yeah. Dated okay. to me. This is just lovely. Yeah, I can like wear it now. And then if it was cold, I'm thinking, what would I put with it? But then I could take, that's why I could take a sort of mad scarf, you know, maybe. Let's just see if it's too much. I like it, but I do love it seeing the full coat. The, yeah, yeah. So I keep it clean. And just embrace the cold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that phase of your life thing about wearing different things at different phases. It's so yeah. true. Okay, next. This is sort of like giving you an idea of something I would have worn. So I used to wear red lip with black. Am I still wearing the red lip? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and this is the idea, and this could apply to any of you who have a black shift dress. Do you have one? Yeah. Okay, do you have one? Yeah. yeah, we have it. We have it for a funeral, for an occasion, for an interview, <laughs> whatever it might be. And this is probably the only one I have left. And the reason I kept it is it was sort of fun. You know, it was that faux leather, um, the ruching I liked, but you know, I would have had my hair back, red lip and a high heel. And I think that feels very dated, even though the dress is not a totally classic, slightly potentially easier dated black dress. What I want to do is think, how can I layer it, change the footwear, change the makeup so the whole feel changes. Okay. So the first thing I think about is what can I wear underneath it? And also I, don't, I just want to take off this lip. I've got some tops, which I also haven't worn. So can I wear them together? So I'm gonna try this. Um, which I got in the sale uh, at Harvey Nichols. So let's see if the two go together. Because there's a tr huge amount of going on, I might actually keep my hair low, but I might just try something like, which I have not done ever, but I'm just trying it the first time, like a side ponytail, you know, just cool girlness. Don't know if it's happening. Tell me, do you think it's happening? And then I'm going to put on Wheezy. Go brown, not go red, sort of warm. And then put it a bit on my cheek there so that's the first bit earrings maybe or is the sleeve enough Ooh. so feeling now i'm going to wear this the henry the eighth i am i am yes is good i did have a belt i was going to do with this but i'm thinking i remember with this dress it needed some little accentuation of the waist and especially with the volume of the sleeve maybe i need that at the waist so tell me if this works and the fact that this is a really old new new belt i don't wear much but never ever get rid of belts ladies as long as you can remember how to put them on <laughs> like that there is that better with a belt yeah better yeah so just you know then that drama is not taking over are okay. the sleeves supposed to hang like that they um kind of are but i think there's some merit i could try tying them the thing about this 
is it expects you to either be a very good one handed one tire. handed tire. <laughs> Are they supposed to be boats? Because the one on your left is a bow. Is a bow. I'm actually trying to construct that at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do a bow, but I haven't done a like you have to kind of get on down and then there. Yeah, and then I gotta get down to that bow again. It's is it for only people who have somebody who can help them get dressed in life? Everyone needs a molly. There. Like that. I this way around. don't think I would have tied them around the arm. Oh, you mean you would have tied them as bows? Like yes. that one. Like, oh, like, like, like you <laughs> okay, Molly, can you just tie them there, please? Sorry. Oh, the light. Oh, the light. And you tie the bow. All right. Learning how a top is constructed. Last day, now, here we come. My lightsaber. Um, le learning how tops are constructed is really important, especially when they're complicated and you buy them for people like Teresa Van Noten, because there's always be some added complication. Um, but it oh, was, cool. this in the sale was, um, it was originally, who would have ever paid 600 quid for this, but it was 90 pounds, or even like 80 pounds. It was 90% off, so it's 600. It was 68 pounds. Wow. I think we need to do a closet confessions about sale shopping because we could do my best could, sale shopping, um, couldn't we? Or we could just go to a sale with you to see how you do it. I mean, we we could do that. I just need a bag. I'm realising. Okay. Need a bag. I don't think those leopards go. Oh, but that has the colour match. Do we like the idea of that? I do like that idea. Oh, good, Jemima. Let's get it on. <laughs> and it's also I have this thing about leather with leather. So I've done the Valentino boots. How's that with it? Love. Yeah? yeah. Works? Oh, I've got a new outfit. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Good. And I love that shimmer. So different, this, isn't it? Yeah. That feeling. The makeup changing, the hair changing a bit. I mean, I could have the hair down as well, but just flat, not bouffant. Because when you've got bouffant clothes, you shouldn't do bouffant hair. Mm -hmm. It's just a rule. So I could just do like that. Yeah, is I that like better? That. Nice. Maybe. Yeah, Maybe no, I I'm do. just that side ponytail's a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I like that you don't have an earring on actually. Yeah, clean. Think it's too much. Yeah. I agree. Of course, it's great. And then coat-wise, the sleeve is big. I might do a cape. Just have to think more options here. I'm just thinking, would I do my old Zara cape? What do we think? Oh my God, the sleeve popping out. Yes, yeah. so good. Oh. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes, I'm gonna hang that now and wear that this week. Love, it's black, but there's an element of leopard. This is a classic moment that, I remember doing this with Susanna so often, but it's a look that so many of us will identify as a flare jean with a smart top and a nice coat or cape. I'm not saying this is not the way to wear it. This is one way I used to wear this cape. I do like this look. Yeah, it's a nice look. look. And you know, you've got the skinniness here with the flare so that when you look at this, it's not bulky. Um, I'm wearing a heel so it looks elegant. It's really super elegant. It is. Like that. Oh, super, super well, I'm elegant. excited to see how you wear what it new. Yeah. Okay. Makeup wise, before I show you this, I think I'd take off the warmth of Wheezy and I might put on her biggest competitor. Nisha, get yeah, that lovely hint. That bloody drill! That hint of the Bougainvillea popping through. And then, what I always forget to do on Closet Confessions, buff it in, girls, buff it in. This is about the art of neon. Now, one wasn't wrong and the other one's right, or vice versa. It's just when you've got something that feels boring and whenever you put it on, it feels old fashioned. What's the one thing you can do with it? Neon. Neon. It is neon. Thank you, Jemima. I mean, you just so well, like on thing. But this is like the Essentials Antwerp um, jumper. I wish I'd bought two because I'm always, you know, getting it dirty, but it cleans so well. Brilliant cleaning. Um, and I prefer it to like my Serena Beauty shirt because I want something fitted. And I like the floppiness of the grey trouser, which is actually Serena Beauty. And the white trainer. It's just changed it from that trying to chilled. And then if I wanted to kind of muck it up, well not muck it up, but just go for it. You know, I might just then bung that on too. So I might just, yeah, I think I might do that actually as well. I mean, I love the line of this, but this is nearly the identical color. My Christmas present from Charles. Like that. Yeah, how's that with it? And I might take my next Christmas presents. Oh, because I got two Christmas presents from Charles. Like oh. that. Totally different look. Yeah. Love it. Totally Trini London colours. Totally Trini London, <laughs> for sure. But this is just that sort of, I want a more relaxed way of dressing. And it's about how do you dress down smarter things? This is an element of that. I say it all the time for those of you who say, they're not the white trainer again. A white trainer 
gives style to something classic. It makes it wearable and most importantly, to me a white trainer makes something ageless. And if one keeps thinking that should have a high heel, I'm saying that in a voice now because it's slightly I think, get it, I want you so much to get it because whenever I make over a woman and she, I do that with her and she gets it, first of all, you feel you can run anywhere. That's kind of great in life, to feel you could just take off and run, all right? To something or away from something, physically, <laughs> mentally that goes in your head. So by wearing shoes all day long that you can get somewhere quickly in or do something quickly in, it makes you feel a thousand times more mobile mentally and physically. Yeah. I think that's what it does for me. I said that with such feeling. I think that's what happens. Yeah. In a heel, you feel constricted. Yeah. Yeah, oh my God, great tip. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> I'm in a little dress from LK Bennett. I love this and I did wear it with a slip underneath. Stage one of making this dress better was to take away the white slip that came under it and just do that new slip that I always do, which is taking like fabric from tights. You can mm -hmm. get it in any fabric store and getting a slip made with a deep V and it just goes under everything and makes it more less nipply. Um, and the length is nice, but I don't wear it. And the reason I don't wear it is it's scratchy. Oh. The fabric is very scratchy. And so it just stops you putting it on. And also I feel this isn't me anymore. On somebody else, lovely, but it's not where I'm at today. Okay. So off these come and let's change it up. I'm halfway there, but what's wrong with this so far, I'm wearing something underneath it, is I still got the sloping shoulder, feminine, soft chiffon dress feel about it. So look at that now. Mm -hmm. And then what I've done now is I've put my little Zara bloody thing on underneath. We've got to get them made, ladies. And then sleeve doesn't work. So I'm putting the sleeve up to here. But there's something incredibly beautiful about the fabric of this dress. So that's why I think I'm wanting to hold on to it. Because you might think I'm trying so hard here. Mm -hmm. um, I've got my jeans on underneath. There. Oh, yeah. All right. So I could just do this. There's this um, friend of ours, Annie Swain, who we love. She's a stylist. And she always does this kind of like, she'll take a fabric and just tuck it randomly. I don't even know how she tucks it. But, <laughs> you know, that kind of, I'm in Camden Town, Shoreditch coolness. That is cool. Quite cool. But from the side, have I had a baby? But that can happen, actually. It's like, it's not so bad. Mm. Um, and then if I wanted to bring that together, I need a bag, which sort of just like nails that location yeah. quite well. That really works for me. Oh, that's cool. It's the exact place. Yeah. This is like very specific, but it's about taking a chiffon dress, really thin fabric. That's, a, that's the art here. So it has drape. It has flow. Showing some leg in some way, just playing, mm -hmm. just playing, putting in, tucking it in here and spilling it, letting it spill over, putting a bag on top where you want to kind of hide the sort of action because that's one way of doing it. And the other way is to bring down the waist and wear a thick belt, which I'm going to show you now. But imagine if I could fit this belt. You can do it. <laughs> and then pushing down that to there. It's a bit ruched Ooh, up, bunched up. I like so. that ruching. No, that was cool. It was cool. Yeah, I mean, that's so cool. That is so bloody cool. <laughs> it's really cool. I love that. And I think without, you won't get that feeling so quickly, this is dress over trousers. But I love the muted tones. I think what's really important here is when you're looking at what goes together, because we looked at lots of different tops, Molly and I, and she says this one, and it has the plum exactly, it has the black exactly, it has the gray exactly. Mm. And I didn't see that until we're looking at it closely now. And that's why it feels a part of it yeah and then a blue jean you might ask me what coat would i wear what coat would you wear? i don't know let's see <laughs> there's a little part of me that wants to say when in doubt you could go leopard because <laughs> like course. when it's all going crazy you could go leopard yeah okay, we could go leopard or would we could we should we go percy pig percy pig <laughs> prada <laughs> my code word like that that's so cool. Is that good? I think that's the winner for me. I like that. I don't mind the different lengths because the fabric is thin. And you know what we need to do when we're doing things like this is not give ourselves barriers to trying things, not give ourselves, we can't do that because the hem is longer. We can't do that because you've got to just think, is there a flow to the outfit? Mm. And there's a flow. There's such a flow. <laughs> okay, next outfit. Who ain't done pearls and velvet? <laughs> this is, I mean, I did go through a phase where this was me. And this is for some people, a really elegant look, and I see it on one with some women. I think velvet, pearl, silk, little subtle sequin. 
it's a no-brainer. For me, I'm thinking, how could I do this differently? I might now nowadays take off the pearls, yes. you know, and I might even, you know, instead of, I'm saying about the, um, about the heel, Tom, you might hate me for it, but I might even do that. And we're already switching it out. Yeah. But how can I really switch this out? Before we go into the joy of what I've done, I'm just going to take off the, um, red pinky colour and put on Shusha. I know it's similar to the colour on my top, but I sort of feel, oh God, that was done literally like I'm Barbara Cartland after 10 drinks. That was really a bad, bad one. Putting your makeup like a clown. What's new? Actual more. If I can find the baby, baby, come to me, baby, 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 Wheezy. No. Yes. No. Yes. It gives a browniness to it which I love much better than the pink. How many of you ladies feel had a bit of a nice Christmas, but I'm feeling I don't want to show my tummy, so you're wearing shirts like this. So a shirt like that is just gonna say, oh, did you even have a waist? Were you born with a waist? And everyone has a waist. So my challenge to you for the rest of January is if you've got shirts that are this long, take them to here, and instead of that way you think it's done, which is just under the boob, do it lower, on your way so you don't have that risk and you can even wear a vest underneath tucked into your trousers but do it there tuck it over like that you can always do this other little trick if you want to have security is you take the buttonhole here and you fix it to the button here once you've gone through with it yeah and it will never undo and you won't have to do a double knot it's my favorite okay. trick <laughs> you've got your waist here and then you've got a softness here at the back Right. Well, you can just make the V, but it's just such a good way to honour your figure. And then we'll put this back on. So, Charles is C'est la vie from Milan, and this is from Zara and um, Serena Butte's shirt. And then a trainer. So cool. Good look. Really good. What bag? What bag? I like this, but the, another thing you can do sometimes when you're fed up and you're thinking I'll change things up, it's just tuck in the collar. Mm -hmm. It's just another idea like that. Lovely. What are you looking at, Holly? The blue lips. Look at the blue lots with the blue of the oh Molly Wally Wally Woo Molly Wally Woo Molly Wally Woo Molly Wally Woo I always wonder what Molly thinks. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Taking classic to non-classic and using the foundation of that. So I hope this week's helped. And what we're gonna do next week is we've already got it on the rails. I'm gonna go through some things here and I'm gonna get a few more things. And we're gonna look at things I've never worn and how I can wear them and everyone will identify with this we all have things in our wardrobe that we don't wear and there's certain reasons we don't they're too big they're too small the color doesn't actually suit us but also it's about the feelings more I'm going to look at when I put it on it makes me feel so how mm -hmm. can we change that feeling by putting it with something else and we'll look at a few other things like that well I can't wait right, done. <laughs> leave your comments below of other closet confessions you would like us to do we have got quite a long list but we're always loving to hear back your feedback of what you feel you want to be inspired by next. Yes. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.